Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Brooke. I make travel, DIY, and lifestyle videos. So today we have quite a bit going on, so I thought I would bring you along. Right now I'm on my way to a coffee shop to meet my uh, old coworkers. I'm passing off a bunch of my old work stuff that I mentioned in the previous vlog I was going to be passing on to them. So I'm on way, I'm on them and that. I'm on my way there right now, and oh, it's gonna be so nice to see them, but also so sad. We were like family, I mean, I we still text every single day. Um, we keep the group chat alive, just obviously personal phone, so work phone now. But yeah, bittersweet. Anywho, um, this morning I worked out, showered, got ready, did a bit of cleaning and yeah now we are off it's 11 o'clock right now and I'm meeting them in about 15 minutes so I will see you guys when I get to the coffee shop so we just left the coffee shop right here my gals are taking off that was such a good time we sat and chatted for like an hour um, we actually got like so into our conversation that um, we didn't even get coffee. <laughs> we sat at the coffee shop and we're having a fine dandy time. And then we looked around after like an hour and we're like, did we forget to get our coffee? And we did. So um, anywho, they had other things that they had to get to. Obviously it's a work day. So I let them go. I'm gonna go get some coffee on my own right now one of my girls she had lent me a dolly and so i gave her back the dolly and i'm watching her struggle across the train tracks with this dolly and all the stuff that i gave her <laughs> okay she made it across i was like should i should i go help her does she have it she has it under control she's okay she's okay um anywho so i want to go get my nails done i need to get a car wash and i need to get more pressed juice everything is right here except for the nail place so I think maybe I'll get my car washed. Maybe I'll try a new nail place just to stay in the local area before going to press juice and getting, um, well, juice. <laughs> so that's a game plan. So yeah, we're off. You guys, in the past three to four minutes, three people almost hit me. One, they didn't look behind them before backing out of their parking spot and just like threw that bad boy in reverse and started like pulling out really quick. And I was like, Meh. Um, and then um, someone ran a red light, almost T-boned me. And then another person did a California roll and I mean, everyone had a stop sign, it was my turn. I was going in the intersection and they just like, I mean, I wouldn't even consider a California roll. They ran the stop sign, basically. They completely ran the stop sign and once again, almost T-boned me. Like what is going on today? I mean, we've got some bad drivers in Sacramento, okay? Like that's, that's not new information. However, today, today they are, they are all out and about. It is like national, be a bad driver, get on the road today day. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. Do you guys feel like every time you're about to go through a drive through car wash, all of a sudden it just like breaks down and they have to reset it? Oh, okay. Oh no, now they fixed it, now they fixed it. guys I just left the car wash and uh, the weirdest thing just happened I, I'll tell you guys when I get to the nail salon but like what the hell you guys okay so I just parked um, near the nail salon but okay so when I was after the car wash I decided to vacuum my car so I was vacuuming my car and then this like guy walks up to me and he's like you're standing in a puddle why don't you move over? Um, there's an open spot right by my car and I would have to like go around and park next to him. And I was like, oh, it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm wearing heels right now. So I was like, my feet aren't even touching it. I'm fine. So he's like, oh, okay. Well, I'm very impressed. And I was like, thanks. Um, continue backing my car. So then he comes back like two or three minutes later and he hands me this. And let, let me zoom in on this real quick. So he hands me his bank receipt from Chase. And he goes, 
oh, well, I didn't have any other piece of paper to like write my number on. So he wrote his number at the top. That's what my finger's covering. And he's like, but I just wanted to prove to you that I'm not a bum and give you my number. My name's Jerry. Dude, what? I mean, first off, very impressive. Second off, um, no, and I'm married. So then he tries to hand it to me and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm actually married. So um, I was vacuuming like the um, passenger side and he's standing on the driver's side. So then he just sits, sets it on the driver's seat and he's like, well, you know, just in case. And I was like, okay. And then like, I hope you have a nice day. And like winks at me, walks away. And like, what, just in case I get divorced in the next week? Like, <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, like I looked at it like, do you just like go to the bank, get bank receipts and then write your number on it. And like that, that's your pickup line. Like, look how much is in my bank account. Like, this is the weirdest thing. Th nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Uh, I mean, weird people trying to hit on me, in strange locations. Yes. But like handing me your bank receipt. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Definitely going to call you for sure. Um, <laughs> anywho. So I just parked outside the nail place. So I saw there's like a few coffee shops right here. So I think I might grab coffee and then head into the nail place. Wait, you guys. Okay, so I was about to go in and I like did this again to giggle. And you know what I realized? This isn't even a transaction receipt. It literally only says balance inquiry. He literally went to the bank just to get a receipt of how much is in there. You can check your balance on your app. Like you didn't need a receipt. So he literally went there to get a physical printout of the receipt. <clears throat> you guys, this it's official. That is how he picks people up. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Okay. Now we're leaving. Oh, wow. We went all out with the vanilla. <laughs> all out there's like four tablespoons in here oh that's aggressive all right trying out a new nail salon today never been here before absolutely love my nail color and then on the toes i just got french tip i always i always get french tip on my toes so i the only thing i really switch up is my uh or my hands so love them Loved that nail salon, it was super cute. The people were incredibly friendly and I like the polish I got. Just got, it's an OPI color and it's a regular polish. So I was in there for a while waiting for it to dry because I am definitely that person that like walking out of the nail salon, like hits it on the door frame and like messes up the polish. But so far, so good, <laughs> haven't messed it up yet. Um, anywho, I need to go to Press Juice, pick up some juices and shots and then I need to go to, um, I need to go to Kohl's because they have some Amazon returns. Basically a bunch of the Halloween costumes that were too small for the pups because I know that they're like a triple XL. Yet I order XL, double XL, and triple XL. Like why do I keep ordering these sizes that I know they are not? You know, I know that those are not their sizes, but I always order them like just in case, you know? Um, yeah, so now I need to go return all the ones that were way too small for them, so. Heading out to do that, and I think that's all the updates. So I just got to the ice blocks and headed to press. All right, I just stocked up for the next two and a half weeks. We got a bunch of shots in there, juices, more shots. So we have enough of that, so leave in press. I was planning on going to Kohl's right now and making those returns because I'm out and about. But while I was in there waiting for her to package up my juices, I started getting really shaky. So I get really shaky and start feeling nauseous when I'm hungry. And uh, I think it's time for me to go home and like eat something. I realized that it's almost four o'clock and all I've had is coffee, kombucha, and juice. Like I haven't had solid food. I, I didn't realize it was so late, but after realizing that I haven't actually had a, an actual meal today and it's already almost like dinner time, like I need to eat something. And I feel like I'm gonna 
I don't know, be sick if I don't actually go eat something. So, um, Coles is gonna have to wait till tomorrow because yeah, <laughs> I need to go eat. So I just made some of the truffle raviolis from Costco and then just put some butter and Parmesan cheese on it. I was so hungry, I ate it and didn't uh, get any clips. Um, but, oh, well, not that one. But I wanna show you guys what it looks like. So ravioli with truffle and Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano. This is what it looks like. And it's like a two pack at Costco. So this is the rest of the pack I opened, but it is so freaking good. Darren tried it also and was like, oh my gosh, where have these been all my life? So bomb diggity, definitely recommend. Okay, so like two months ago, I was influenced on Instagram to buy this toy on Kindly Toys and like you get to have it personalized with um, with a name and it's just a little like children's toy. Um, oh, it's stapled, okay, one second. So I got it customized with my niece's name, Layla. Um, and then I got to pick like the colors, the shapes, all that jazz, um, but I guess it's self assembly. So we're just gonna need a, okay, so there we go. That's what it looks like. So the name is on the small rainbow, okay. Middle rainbow is the texture and then big rainbow is the color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. So Darren's watching a show in the living room right now but I wanted to show you guys how it turned out isn't this so freaking cute oh my gosh i love it and i think she's gonna love it too So we're making dinner right now and we're getting a little creative. So in here, we're making that mushroom rice dish again. And then we decided, let's get wild. Let's make chicken piccata as well. So we made the chicken piccata sauce and then we have the chicken ready to go. We decided just to grill it and we didn't put um, flour on it or anything. So it doesn't have that like crust, but we were kind of going for a bit of a healthier option. So we're gonna try that over the mushroom rice dish. And I think it's gonna be a really good flavor combination. Mushroom rice dish is done. I mix in some fresh basil. And then the chicken has finished cooking in the sauce and we are ready to plate. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Making myself some coffee. And then Darren just woke up. So making him some coffee too. And then we're gonna head downstairs and work out. Still working out. I've been taking it really slow this morning because last night uh, or yesterday I restarted my TikTok. However, there was a whole. <sighs> I did things incorrectly. I'll, I'll tell you guys about it um, after I'm done working out. But in here, pups are keeping me company. They keep randomly barking at me because they throw the ball under the treadmill. And then they get mad at me because I don't throw it for them. So basically, because they'll bring me the ball and I'm like, I'm working out, we're not doing this right now. So they'll start throwing the ball at places that they can't get it so that they can pretend like they're helpless and need me to get it. And once I get it, then they expect that I will throw it. So once I pick it up, they both like take off to go prepare to catch the ball, you know? Like it's, it's honestly manipulation. Oh, oh yeah, total sob story, guys. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, had me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro. Roll. So I've been practicing the dance for about an hour and I, well, things are going pretty well so far. I still have like two more weeks to perfect it, but I'm feeling good about it. Um, I think I'm gonna shower and get ready and kick off my day. So I'll see you guys in a bit. 
I can't believe I forgot to show you guys yesterday. So this is our wellness drawer. Just kind of looks like one of the drawers in our kitchen. And this is a refrigerator, so it's nice and cold. So we have all of our pressed juices. And then I have two layers of all of the shots. Each day I only take the wellness shot, which is the ginger lemon, but Darren takes multiple. And then um, Darren prefers um, sparkling water. So I have a whole bunch of different flavors. So, whoa. So tangerine, we've got lemon zest, black cherry, and then I don't think there's any of the regular one in here right now, um, but usually we have the regular one also. And then we have all of the kombuchas over here. And then I have backups of um, the kombuchas and the sparkling water in the downstairs fridge. Over here, the beep you just heard, um, I'm making um, hash brown patties and then I'm gonna make my Costco egg bites. So if you guys remember, this was what I ate for breakfast almost every day last November, December, this January, February, March. Um, yeah, it was literally like six months. I was addicted, um, but I haven't had it in a few months now. And you know, we're returning to our roots. I miss it. If you guys are not familiar with the Costco egg bites, this is what they look like. They are the vegetarian ones. So just spinach and bell pepper, and they come in a four pack. You can kind of see some of the other one. And they're all like individually wrapped and such. And they taste honestly to me, exactly like the Starbucks egg bites, but significantly cheaper and you can make them at home whenever you want. So yeah, I do one pack of egg bites, which is two of them, and then two of the hash brown patties. You guys, we've got the whole setup, the ring light camera and the whole DIY situation. The whole setup is here and I'm gonna be doing a DIY video for iron on shirts with my Cricut. So I'm gonna get going with recording this and I'll see you guys after. You guys, it is hours later. I'm still working on this DIY video. The dogs keep barking every time I'm recording or Sadie starts walking around and her nails just like click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. And it's like messing up all the audio. It's been very difficult, very stressful. So I really hope this video turns out well, but it is taking so much longer than I thought. But it's time to do the next clip of this. So I'll check in with you guys when I'm hopefully done. Okay guys, it's about 5.30. That craft video literally took me like four hours. So freaking long, but I'm really hopeful. I think it's gonna turn out really, really good. So I'm very proud of it. But now we are on our way to a little date night. So we're in the boat right now and we're on our way to go eat at one of the restaurants here. Tomorrow we've decided that we're gonna be pulling the boat out and putting it in storage. I know I said that a few weeks ago. However, it's actually happening tomorrow. So. Just wanted to pop in, give you guys the update, and I'll see you in a bit. back and I guess Darren heated up the pool he put on uh, he put on the pool heater um, this morning so now our pools like a hot tub because um, he put on the pool heater and then he put on like the pool cover and we don't have that big of a pool so it heats pretty quickly just in a couple hours um, so now we are getting ready to go in I should probably clip up my hair because oh my gosh this swimsuit it just it always just wants a whoop so I gotta I gotta keep an eye on it see how it like teepees here as if it should be like closed but it's not because it really secretly wants to be uber open but anywho um dinner was bomb diggity um, I didn't get a clip of it, but I did their fried prawns, so freaking good. And their fries are beer battered, so my favorite. So I get um, ranch to dip the fries in, and then for the shrimp or the prawns or whatever it is, um, I get um, cocktail sauce. 
and it was awesome. Although I will say that usually they have regular cocktail sauce. This time their cocktail sauce was like mega spicy. Like the horseradish was just like in your face, abundant, ready to like fight. You know what I mean? Um, like cleared the whole sinuses, all of it. Just wild. Anywho, um, I'm ready to rock and roll and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, we just got out of the pool, still drying off, got my towel, still have the swimsuit on, but it is time to sign off the video. It's about 8.30, we're just gonna watch a show and go to bed. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give me a big thumbs up. If you really liked it, feel free to drop something in the comments below, I would love to interact with you. Other than that, don't forget to tune in. In another two days, I'm uploading every other day, giving you guys all the content. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Talk to me, baby.